What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I'm going to try and aim for two more duels today. Hopefully I'm using super heavy samurai cards. And I've just realized I don't want to do this. But, fine. With one victory each, the next winner would own Yusho Duel School. Since Gong wasn't a Yusho student, it was up to you Show's newest student, Sora. Wait, so why am I playing as Gong then? The name's Kip Blade, and I'm the slickest synchro summoner you'll ever meet. Now, which one of you do I get to beat? Gong wishes Gong could get in there, but since Gong doesn't go to you, Show, Gong can't set up to take down the competition. Listen, Sora, this is a win or go home situation, so you gotta beat him. I'm not really into pressure situations like this. I'm sure the competition won't mind. So if you want to duel instead of me, I'm totally fine with it, Big Brows. The Big Brows? I don't have all day, Big Brows. If you're a chicken, save us both some time and get someone else to duel. You got it? How dare you? Gong will show you who's chicken. The winner takes all, and the loser loses all. Duel. Um, okay. That was a very short introduction to the duel. Usually doesn't take longer than that. Right. Rules are in place every time we play this, because why the fuck not? Am I using the Super Heavy Samurai? Because I know how they work. I'm hoping I've got Big Bang Big Bang K or Susano. The other two I really want to use. I don't have Susano, but I do have Super Heavy Samurai. Do I have Big Benke? Benke may be the way to win this. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. If we lose three, to three times, I'll be searching in my own decks to beat this, which is not gonna go down very well. Um, that's alright to use, but I feel like I need some defense here. I thought this had 3,000 when I first looked at it. Mm. Ooh, and this card is normal some normal special things. Why would I want to do that, though? I want to make Kit lose life points. Right. Well, let's move on. We can win this. I have faith. No fuck's sake. You'll use the next saber. Is this what makes you use synchro cards? Because you... Oh, really? Using lightning vortex? You cheating bitch. You're my threat. Foul Troll is my threat. I do have Big Bad Gay. No, I don't. I have the fucking Samurai card. How am I going to do this? Uh, you can change many attack position monsters, super monsters, as the possible defense position if you do. The ones changed to this effect gain 500 defense. I've got nothing to work with here apart from this. Because I can put more monsters in defense mode. That has to be in attack position though. Fuck. I'll get a little defense then, don't I, right? Did you negate my effect? Right. We do have Big Benke. Ooh. When this card's almost on Ooh, we can change battles. Yes, please. This is going to be fucking brilliant. Don't kill it. I missed the activation timing? Bullshit, I missed the activation timing. I fucking summoned it from the grave in, in fucking first attack position. I therefore should have been able to switch it into defense mode. Fuck you. No. <laughs> no, 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 fucking no. Hold on, we're just gonna be right back real quick, okay? This may take a while. <laughs> right. The game cheated me. As you all saw, I was going to bring out Big Benke and probably still lose, but I had a powerful monster and the game refused or denied its existence. So, a cool little play is that if the game cheats, I cheat back. And the only way to cheat in this game is using the cheating Exodia deck. The next duel will will do properly until the game cheats me again. But I'm not allowing the game to fucking do me like that. 
So, I'll win my own little way. Like this. This means we're glad we're going to get two duels today. Because I'm not letting this fucking game beat me like that. Not a chance. Not a chance. Sorry, game. You done fucked up. You done fucked up big time. We all saw what happened. There was no denying what happened. Like, at all. I have literally spent a day... Well, not a day. But I was going to record this on another day, but like the second hell half you're hearing now about, with, with less fan is, uh, is a bitch, basically. It's a bitch. Right, you can attack the ball you want unless you're going to summon str something stronger than it to fight it. That would do the job. Unless you attack with your baby first. You want to you wanna lose some life points? Ah, I thought you did. Good job. Well them. I don't mind losing some life points. Hey, that's fine by me. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Because... I got fucking conned. <laughs> it may take a few times. With cheating Exodia. We all know. Right, so... Giant Rat should have been able to pull out Big Bang K. When it happened. But apparently because I missed the activation timing. It didn't let me do that. So this is why we're here, right now, because the game cheated. Like it did not let me summon Big Bang here because it said sorry, you missed the activation time. Like no, it didn't. The game bullshitted me out of it. So because the game bullshitted, I've decided to bullshit back. Hence why we're using the cheating Exodi deck. I probably have already mentioned this, but it's literally fucking annoyed me. So I think I've got a right <laughs> to be pissed about it. I do need the right arm. I will take the right arm. If you don't give me the arm, I guess I've got no other choice but to take the right arm. And we'll take the right arm, I think. Right, so I'll need one. I need the left leg, yes. Okay, arm, arm, leg, yeah, just need the left leg. Cool. We'll leave it at that for now. I might pull out the next card when I need it. I mean, slowly but surely. See how well he's not, like, defending himself because I didn't hide. Just bullshit. All three legs? Are you being serious? I'd rather destroy them than put them on the field. I know how this shit goes down, so I just did it. <laughs> I just did it to him not too long ago. Don't try, Kit. Just don't try. You can. Okay, you're pulling out a level four synchro card. Oh, never mind. You've got a level six card in your hand. You're pulling out a seven, a nine, a ten. A five? Yeah, how the fuck do you know, bitch? Okay. Alright. That's understandable. Okay, how much life points do I have left after this? 1,900. I've got... No. I should be okay to deal with this. I don't have anything else. I might have a guy keep pulled up. That might work. It's even break or make. Still make or break. Not what I needed. However, I can get rid of a leg. And Red Eyes Black Dragon. Still didn't get what I wanted. However, I can get rid of it this. And I can get rid of a leg. I can also put this face down, which is good. I can use Upstart Goblin. Is no one going to give me this fucking leg? It's every time with this game. So of even like that could help. If I don't get leg. I can save that for next turn. Leg. Two swords. Are you being serious right now? I'll take a sword. I will easily take a sword over this. Right, I could use this. Is it worth risk? I'll use it. Fuck it. Okay, that's helped a bit, because I can use this pro to prolong my existence. That's good. Alright, let's discard some cards. I don't need that arm. I don't need this. He can't attack, which is good. If he does, it's bullshit. But I do have another in my hand. I know, it's fine. We are just prolonging the inevitable right now. This is irritating because I want to win. Can you do something to, my, to this? 
What? What? It's game over, right? Not yet. Okay, we'll live to tell the tale for another day, which is good. Don't worry, you. I'm not asking for your permission. Okay, right. Um, more defense. Doesn't hurt. So I'll just light again, just to defend myself. Okay, so I'll pull more cards out of the turn. Good. This is a very risky business bullshit, you know. You going to summon it again? No, okay. Thank you! Couldn't have pulled that out sooner though, so we're getting close to losing there. Okay. I've got one more duel in me. Not with this deck, of course, I want to use the main game's deck. But that, as intended. Madam Chairwoman, your team only won one duel. So, the school stays ours. Ah, sweet. Any more decks? Packs? No? Wow, I've got so many points to spend after this. A date with fate. Oh, I'm back to play as Yuya, though. It's a joyous day when we get to play as Yuya. Because I actually like his deck. Though Yuya successfully saved his school, he wasn't successful in clearing his name. Dad, I'm going to sharpen my dual skills. I'm going to become a pro like you. Hi. Go away, Silvio. Another duelist can ambush yesterday. People are saying you're the culprit. Then some people are wrong. Who was attacked? Professor Marco. He's a teacher at the Leo Institute. No one has heard from him since. I had a feeling the rumors about you being involved were wrong. There's no way you could get the best of someone like Marco. Even with, with your cheap pendulum summoning. Hang on! What's so cheap about pendulum summoning? Well, for starters, you're the only one with pendulum cards. How is that fair? Anyway, that'll all change soon. I hear the Leo Corporation is starting to independently develop pendulum cards now. I'll be the first in line when they are released. And then you and I are going to settle things. Let's see if we could settle in the Junior Arc League Championship. But we can't. You aren't qualified to enter. Not qualified to enter? Whoa, he's totally right. In order to qualify, you, your yearly record has to show 50 duels with a 6% win rate. I don't have enough wins. You searched for six for any duelist willing to face him, but everyone refused. No one will duel me because everyone thinks I'm already a pro. You, you my boy. Uh, so lovely to see you again. What are you doing here? You're going to bring amazing news. We've been officially invited into this year's Junior Arc League Championship. What? Seriously? Double seriously. After your victory against the Set Hammer, the Duel Association offered you a spot in the championship. What's wrong? Well, it's a very nice offer and all, but it kind of seems like cheating. No, it's favoritism. I do need you to do something. Anything. Hook me up with an opponent so I can win my entry fair and square. Rudder's word, Nico smile, Smiley provided Yuya with an opponent. A psychic duelist. The cards say I'm going to meet my duelmate today. Will he be a super slick teen idol type? A hunky muscle man? A homebody geekster with a heart of gold? That's weird. This is the address Nico gave me for the duel. But this isn't a school. Welcome, my boy. I've been waiting for you to enter. This is totally impossible. There's no way this dork of a duelist could be my duelmate. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm thinking? Oh, sorry. But shouldn't we duel? Oh, we'll duel. That's the best way for me to tell whether my prediction about you is true or not. Sweet! Okay. I think we're gonna win today. I don't know how, f how often or how badly. But I have faith. This game is so quiet today. It's a strange one. That's for shizzles. Hey, it's game over. <laughs> I've never seen Elf Hammer before. Oh, I'm going first? Yep, game over. You first, right? I have to put you down first. 
know, the higher one as well. You don't work otherwise. I've been in that place before and that mistake has happened many, many a time. No, you first and then that. Because I know how you work. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, attack position for you, my guy. And Mr. Swordfish, defense position, please. I don't know if your effect activates now or when you're on the field, but sure. I love this card, though. Breakthrough skill is a very good card. Right. Is it after? Okay. You use Prediction Princess, don't you? Of course you do. For fuck's sake. I fucking hate Prediction Princess. Okay, so that does happen afterwards. How do I beat Prediction Princess? This is an issue. Oh, they go to the grave. Oh, wait, yeah, because they're not pendulum cards, never mind. Hmm. I can't beat these. Obviously, you just got a way to do it, so I don't understand how that'll work. Ooh, a fusion. Is it rune ice? We do have rune ice. Huh. Uh, reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and add one of fusion materials whose name is significant, specifically enlisted on that card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you do, the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot normal summon set or special summon monsters with the Adam monster's name. Uh, cannot activate their effects. Okay, so I can use it to bring out a spellcaster. Well, it specifically says right at Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, isn't it? So I will need, yeah, Odd Eyes Pendulum, yeah. I would love to summon you. But I would kill you. Reduce the line. Yeah. I can't summon it. I'll have to take the damage for this time. And see what can be done. We do have a limit, by the way, in recording time. It is an hour. Um, this one might be a little bit over an hour, considering it's a new recording segment. But uh, when we lose three times, we do be taking away losses, so, you know. You're pulling out another one? I've lost this, because I can't deal with fucking two of those bastards, let alone one. Okay, you're going to turn that face down. I know I can beat it with rune eyes, but I need a pendulum card. I need a polymerization at the start. And I also need to summon it. And I think that can stop me from doing it anyway. Okay. Yes, yeah, game over. Alright, cool. One part to you. Ooh, got a new sphere, Kribo. Alright, time to one down for the count. I normally have a few cards, like if we don't beat him, beat her, sorry, with my decks I have in the game, it will be down to cheating Exodia again to pass us on. That's just to play with again, because I could just beat all of these with cheating Exodia now that I have it. But I'm, gl I'm glad it's there now. It was easier to get all of them, to be fair. This is better. This is not good at all. I can't put down my monster without that there. But I could add... I do have a spellcaster. I might need you to actually summon it. Fuck. Oh, you already put it out on the field? I would like the... Oh, God, you got Skull Crobat. Ooh. Well, I can summon it straight away. I didn't see that. Yes, please. Alright, let's bring out Odd Eyes Pendulum. To come say hello. Then we can use... I could put her down, but I want to do it... I want to use her for the sacrifice, to be fair. Okay, Fusion Sage. Thank you. If it lets me use her at all, of course. Oh, you do more damage with the high level, isn't it? Right. So it would be best... To actually use this one, wouldn't it? I might get another one, I don't know. We'll find out. Because this one will attack three times. Is it only attack monsters? Ah, this can make up to three attack on monsters. Great. Okay. Well, it's on the field now, so that's a good start. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? 
What is the point of having this fucking card in the game then? I need two then maybe to beat it? Otherwise it's going to lose, because I've just killed it. I'm very annoyed with that, because that's the only way to beat it. That has actually legitimately annoyed me. Can't do it again, but you've got some skills, haven't you? Uh, can I? Someone with you? No, I don't think I can. I can tribute it to add another one. I could do it again, actually. Oddly enough, I can do this. Which is bizarre. I don't think I could. I forgot I could do this with Trunk Witch. A third polymerization. Okay, and let's go for this one. Oh, sweet! Nice! Cool. And then let's try again, right? Can't really get rid of it. I know this is the second t attempt of this coming out. I don't know if it only works when that's being attacked. I don't know if it can just done whenever. I could have probably summoned two of these in the same turn and then I would have been able to win. Which would have helped. Okay, when opponent's monster clears a direct attack, target that attacking monster. Negate the attacking if you do. Add up to two perform power monsters from your deck. Whose total defense is less than. So I could use that for Trunk Witch then. Right, let's see if I can do anything with this. Okay. That does that, that's alright. Okay, so it's only when I attack that one it's gonna do some fucking annoying annoyance. But which means next turn it's gone, right? If I knew if I could summon two on the same turn, because I could. I didn't think of doing it. Oh no, I couldn't have done because I would have only added a polymerization card. Not a second. Fuck off. Somehow you managed to do that. Great. Attempt two has gone out the window. Because bullshit. I'm not even if I pull out a magic card, I have to quit. So I've got I haven't got the life points to fight this. So I shouldn't got two more ones so you can just flip into attack position whenever you want to. And it's game over. Wow. Round two to Aura. How the fuck do I beat this? Negate effects against Runai's Pendulum with Skull Skill Prisoner. Well, at least it's telling me what to do to win. Will I have Skill Prisoner? Probably not. Will this end up being a cheating Exodia thing? Probably. We will try though. It's one of the fun things I fucking hate fighting against this fucking prediction princess. They are the worst. I do have Whipstick. Ooh. I can pull out Rune Ice. What are you doing? What are you doing? If you summon this bitch. The issue is... Here's the thing. Is it permanently or is it when you're on the field? Or do I take the L for now? Because then I can have polymerization in my hand use Whip Snake's effect to a change your attack and then I can use Whip Snake to attack sounds like a plan to be fair to me so what I want to do is summon Trump Witch activate her effect that adds a polymerization to my hand And then I can use... I 
can pendulum place you, but I don't want to pendulum place you. We'll use your effect. Bring out one odd eyes from there to my hand. I can do my magic to attack three times, and I'm going to wait until I can put Whip Snake on the field. That's probably the best case scenario. Well, one's in the grave already, so you can't use that one, right? So that's already one down already. Right. Okay. Right. What did you do? Discard one card, add two magician pendulum monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Okay. Because they're all in my hand, it's not going to work. But plan is. Whip Snake. Hear me out. I can use your effect on you. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I can fucking try. Okay, polymerization. Get this out. With one of them, with one of them. I know Whip Snake is probably like the best <laughs> fucking performable card there is. It's a good effect. It's a really, really good effect. Right. You're in attack position. That's great. I want to attack with you first. Okay, I knew you was going to do this. Okay. You cheating bitch! You cheating motherfucker! This is what I get pissed off about this game. I have said this many, many times before. I had the perfect plan. You use the effect to tune that into defense position. I was expecting that, right? But for some reason, this fucker turned up whenever you needed it to turn up. And now, next turn, you're going to go back 2700 and you are going to kill this, you're going to kill this, I can't do anything about it because it's bullshit. What do you do? Hmm. Could you work? It's not a pendulum monster though, is it? Fuck. Hmm. No, it's, uh, it's done diddled me. There's nothing I can do about this. It really has. I need, like, no entry. <laughs> There's nothing I could do. The game fucking conned me. Because this turned up out of nowhere. Like it knew my plan. Don't know why you turned that face down. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to fucking happen. That was the perfect setup as well. And the perfect plan. You're going down. There's nothing I can do here because I can't summon these. They're just going to the pendulum cards. 2,700. And then that's 3,700. Bullshit. Just fucking bullshit, man. And because that's happened, I'm a bit pissy. <laughs> because the game fucking pisses me off when it does that. Really fucking hate it. It's like the game knew my plan somehow. And fucking planned against it, even though it didn't know what I had. But obviously the game knew what I had, because that's how the fucking game works. That's so why I'm using Cheating Exodia again. I have- I use the legit, stupidest reasons for using Cheating Exodia. Holy fuck. Really? I could win on first turn basis? 
You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it at this point. I got conned, and I'll take that I got conned. Like, if I have to bullshit my way out of this, like, I hate two things about this game. The one, the fact, the, one of the things I hate is that they somehow have all the cards they need to counteract everything I have, right? I, I hate that. And the other thing I hate is that you always have the same setup for every fucking duel that happens. On the very off chance they don't, but every fucking duel is the same thing. And it gets irritating. It's not random. It's like, oh, hey, we're just going to give this person fucking margin fist and then you can just fucking summon a like, powerful monster that can't easily be killed. This card needs to be banned. It's so fucking irritating. Give me the head of Exodia and I've done with it. <sighs> I said the head of Exodia. Ah, uh, you know what? You're just going to fucking kill that one in a second, so there's no point in that being there. Oh, I'm getting lucky. Okay, we. I need to use Graceful, Graceful Charity. Okay, we can get rid of Aztec. I'd rather get rid of this. Upstart Goblin. Head, no head. Bot of, bot of Duality. I'll take Graceful. So far, it's graceful I'm taking. Graceful it is. Okay. Of course. I've literally lost half my deck already. After using this one card, of course. Alright, halfway through my deck and no head. There we go. Just got a card from my hand. We don't need this. Arm, leg, arm, other leg. That leg. Head! There we go. <laughs> Get michael bitch. I don't care, I cheat. I don't care. The game cheats, I cheat. Simple as. The game cheats, I cheat. Because fuck you. With victory under his belt, you qualify to enter the Junior Art Clee Championship. That was awesomely awesome, you, yeah? Let's have a big party to celebrate the fact that we made it into the championship. There's my duel mate. Duel mates? I knew my prediction powers wouldn't steer me wrong. You are my duel mate. Oh, my fortune really came true. Right. Aura. Instead of using Prediction Princess, that I fucking hate, can you at least use Fortune Lady? Because Fortune Ladies are better. <laughs> and I want Fortune Ladies in real life. They're so good. Yuya, why is your opponent calling you her duel mate? Yuya Kins. I want you to meet mom and dad right away. Where should we have the wedding? Preferably somewhere with an escape hatch. Alright, cool. Any new duel? Hey, what new boost pack? Fucking aces, dude. Alright, anyway, I'm fucking done with, uh, with this game. For now, because I'm pissed off. Because they are shit. And uh, fuck you. Because Prediction Princess, fuck you for cheating on me, so I just cheated on both. The game just dicked me over on that one, I'll admit the game fucking right to my face. And I hate that. Alright, that's how it goes. I don't deal with that shite. So you can go fuck yourself. But anyway, that is all there is going to be for today with this video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. And as always, this is Rick's Light, signing out.